Welcome to the DCC Museum. Hi, and welcome back at the museum. Today we're going to talk about a release in 2020 done by ancient fan Death Studios called Late Night Sci-Fi. They reach out to a company called Band CDS in the UK about releasing their album on DCC. We collaborated with Band CDS just on the sidelines to help them out with their first release. And in this video, we're going to show you an interview with Evan, one of the band members, on why they released on DCC. One of our forum members found out that Ancient Fan Death Studios was doing a limited release on DCC. They priced it very reasonably at $15, so we ordered a couple. One of them we sent to Tecmon together with our 2020 Ben Liebrand release, and the other one is on display at the DCC Museum. We contacted the band and Evan got back to us. He told us that the company Band CDs, who reproduces all kinds of media like mini disc and cassette, told him they had never done a DCC before, but would like to do theirs as a pilot project. Unlike the DCC Museum, who handpicks their artists, any band can order with them as low as five copies for their release. We contacted Paul Martin of Band CDs and asked him how they reproduced the music. We ended up helping them as they were going the same route as we had started in 2017. We are thrilled not to be the only source any longer for DCC reproduction. Band CDs uses recordable DCC tape and uses UV printing technology to print the artwork directly on the DCC. The end result, although not original with the glass window, is absolutely stunning. The title Late Night Sci-Fi sold out within two weeks. They even use some original DCC ad material in their recordings. We asked Evan to answer a few questions on camera that he recorded in their studio. The video quality is not the best, but will give you a very good idea behind their thought process. <clears throat> well, my name is Evan, and I am one part of Ancient Fanda Studios. Uh, well, what we like to do is take uh, older media in its various forms and try to rework it into something that's you know, hope, you know, new and hopefully entertaining. <clears throat> so when did I start recording music? Uh, it was probably about 14 or 15. My friends and I would get together, uh, you know, we'd play around and about that time though, you know, all we had was a little handheld cassette recorder that we would just stick in the middle of a room, you know, so we could, we'd all just play and, you know, so we'd have, try to have that set up where it could pick up all the instruments as best as it could. <clears throat> so what was the idea behind our album Late Night Sci-Fi? Well, uh, we didn't necessarily set out to make you know, a, a typical musical album. Um, it, we wanted it to be more of like a futuristic broadcast that was about older technology, outdated technology, and you know, obsolete formats. We have segments that are about Betamax, laser discs, um, digital compact cassettes, mini disc, and other things. Uh, and we even include uh, commercial breaks in it. So were we always intrigued by formats? Uh, absolutely. In fact. Uh, Ancient Fandest Studios was started because of our interest in formats. That's what we wanted to explore. Uh, like I you know, mentioned earlier, we're not so much as a typical musical project, but it's to explore media. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's what uh, we, we got together, what was our love for formats. Um, you know, one reason why I think we like formats so much is that it's just, uh, it adds to the experience uh, of whatever media is on there. Um, you know, whether you're listening to a vinyl record, putting a DVD on, or a VHS, or listening to a digital compact cassette, the, the experience is different, you know, depending on the format. You know, I think it's just another way that we interact with the media. And so that's something we wanted to explore with this. Uh, one reason why we're intrigued by formats. <clears throat> so when did I first hear about DCCs? Uh, probably like uh, most people was through uh, an episode of Tecmo. Um, you know, years ago he did one, and uh, 
Well, I mean, I've seen several of his videos, and I've always been intrigued, and it's always been fun to see some of this obsolete technology, you know, brought back to life. Uh, but DCC was one that I always kind of kept going back to, would always, you know, look up. It was uh, something I always found interesting. I thought, uh, you know, the slipcase was interesting. The look of it was interesting, uh, the sound of it. And, you know, eventually I just had to have one, and so I ended up purchasing one of the first-generation portable players. And so what made us pick Digital Compact Cassette to release Late Night Sci-Fi? Uh, well, I mean, it was something we always wanted to do, um, you know, uh, and also, you know, considering the subjects uh, of the album, it just seemed appropriate to release it on obsolete format. Um, you know, I had, uh, working with uh, this fantastic Vaporwave label, Gorgeous Lights, and uh, they were doing the uh, just regular analog cassette uh, run as well. And, um, you know, I just had the idea to do the DCC, and, you know, I brought it up to Gorgeous Lights, and they were really happy to to go along with it, which was really cool, and, you know, kind of gave me free run to, you know, research that, look into it. And, um, you know, looking it up, you know, I came across the DCC Museum, uh, you know, that they've, you know, they've done their own releases, so obviously the, the capability is still there to do it. Um, and, you know, um, but, you know, I wasn't going to go to, you know, the DCC Museum as they were not a, you know, production, you know, a duplication company. You know, they, they don't have customers that you can call and say, hey, I need a, a you know, 20, a batch of 20 DCCs made. Uh, so, you know, I did a little bit more research and I came across band CDs, which, um, you know, I was familiar with them. They do cassette duplication. They're the only ones that do mini disc duplication, uh, compact disc duplication and so forth. Well, they didn't uh, advertise doing DCC duplication. What they did say on their website, though, is that, um, you know, if your master copy was on a DCC, they could transfer it to uh analog cassette and make duplications from that for uh, other analog cassettes. And so I thought, well, you know, they clearly have some of the technology for DCC, so I thought, what could it hurt just to, you know, send them a message asking if they might, you know, be able to make a small run of digital compact cassettes. And I spoke with uh, someone named Paul Martin who, you know, let me know that that wasn't a service they offered, but if I was really, you know, willing to... Um, if I was serious about it, they would be willing to research into, you know, getting this done. And uh, they really went way, you know, above and beyond what I ever, you know, expected. You know, really researching it, buying the older software. I believe that they had to get some Windows 98 computers. Uh, you know, getting everything need they needed so they could do a, a proper duplication. So they could, you know, make sure that the tracks were separated, that the tracks had the text um, read on it, which was very cool. Um, so, yeah, I was really thrilled with the way it came out, uh, with the work they really put into it, which was amazing, and the fact that now it's um, a regularly offered service through band CD. So any band now can, can you know, send a message saying, hey, I'd like a, a batch of DCCs made, which is very, very cool. And so, yeah, we've, we had the uh, small run made, and, um, and was happy to see that, you know, they sold out pretty quickly. And, uh, you know, here we are trying, you know, uh, talking about it, uh, promoting it a bit, and uh, it's already sold out. So, you know, you can't just hop over now and buy a copy. So I've been asked if I've been, you know, willing to do a repress. Um, and the short answer is um, I'm cert I would certainly consider it, yes. Uh, we haven't made any plans to, to do the, the repress, but, you know, if there was enough interest, it's, it's certainly on the table. So are we planning to release any more on DCC or any other formats? Uh, well, absolutely. Uh, you know, we already have releases on uh, analog cassettes, of course the DCC, and we have one coming up on VHS. Uh, we also have a release on mini discs as well. So, uh, yeah, that's something we hope to continue and, you know, explore other formats. And, of course, revisiting, you know, we'll have other uh, cassettes, VHS and certainly plan on doing some more digital compact cassettes in the future. Thank you. We thank Evan and Band CDs for both joining our Patreon channel. We will put more information about their music in the description of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.